the open internet we all know and love, where everyone can participate, will soon no longer exist. EU politicians are about to pass a law which they say is supposed to combat unauthorized copies. In pursuit of that goal, they're about to make a fundamental change that would affect all of us. It all comes down to the main question. Who is liable for files illegally uploaded on the internet? So far, the person uploading illegal copies is also the one responsible and liable for the content. The app or website they do this on is innocent, unless they're made aware of the copy and do nothing about it. It's like when a crime is planned over the phone. That doesn't make the phone company responsible. Today's legislation makes sense. Nowadays, everyone can communicate and share with the whole world. It's simply impossible for websites to manually review each one of the billions of images, videos, texts, audio files we post online. But that's exactly what the politicians want to change. In the future, as soon as something goes online, the site would be just as liable as the person who posted it. So what you may be thinking, why is that a problem? Because then the only way for websites to operate legally would be to verify every single post by every single user, assuring that it doesn't infringe any copyright worldwide. If they cannot guarantee that, it cannot go online. But it gets worse. This new law is not only demanding something technically impossible, it's also threatening one of our fundamental rights, namely freedom of expression without unjustified censorship. But no program can tell for sure whether a parody, commentary or remix is legal or infringing on copyright. Making these decisions today takes lawyers, judges and long trials. And yet websites will be expected to somehow make them automatically millions of times a day. To avoid massive fines, the platforms will have to filter extremely strictly and a lot of perfectly legal content will get caught up in these filters. But unfortunately, technical feasibility and censorship are not the only problems. Before this bill has even passed, the EU Commission has already presented an even further reaching law. This one would require filters for so-called extremist content, with each post having to be checked with law enforcement agencies. We're talking about nothing less than EU-wide internet censorship machines. What could possibly go wrong? If we don't act now, we could find the internet in Europe scrubbed clean of anything challenging, surprising, weird or enlightening. The big winners of this new law would be multi-billion dollar companies like Google or Facebook, as their budgets would still allow them to implement the new guidelines. All smaller platforms would only be able to further offer their services if they use the filter systems provided by the big corporations. The smaller companies will have to trade in their data, which would make the big players even more powerful. All of us would be the losers of this new legislation, because structures that make the internet so diverse today would die tomorrow as a result of this law. If you want to stop this dull and miserable filter net, you have to take action now. These websites tell you how. Call your representatives in the European Parliament today and tell them that you will only vote for them in the 2019 European elections if they vote against upload filters.